Stay with us here at News 9. We'll keep you advised. When I was in the seventh grade, there was a guy on television by the name of Harry Volkman. And he'd come on, and, he'd, and he did weather, and he'd talk about troughs aloft and vorticity, and he, and he talked about his family, and he just made weather so fascinating and that that's, that's the reason I got into it. He inspired me. I didn't know what he was. We were at my grandma's house one time, and I, I pointed at the TV, and I said to my daddy, I said, I want to be one of those. My daddy said, well, what is he? And I said, I don't know, but I want to be one. And uh, that's how I got involved in weather. Ever since I was in seventh grade, it's what I wanted to do. I've been very lucky. You know, sometimes in the business of, of television meteorology, the, the community totally accepts what you're doing. You know, it's, we, we do affect the community, especially during severe weather when there's warnings. But it's still up to the, the person at home to do what they have to do. I say there's a tornado, chick shapes moving northeast 45 miles an hour. It's going to arrive in more in, in 45 minutes. Moving, let's say it's moving at 45 to 60 miles. I'm making a mile a minute. But I, all I can do is I can say to you or anybody in this room, okay, there's a tornado coming. There's a tornado warning. You need to take your tornado precaution. Then it's up to the the people. It's up to the people at home to do what they have to do. So really, they save themselves by taking. Uh, if you could look back over your life, would you change anything? And I said, uh, and I still say it today, I wouldn't change one thing because if you change one thing, you might change everything. So I've never regretted my decision. And you know, I came from a small town in western Western Oklahoma. You know, you know, raised in a time where you know there was nothing. Yeah, but I wanted to be on television. So I finally got on television, but it took a long time. I liked I never got through college, you know, and I was in the service, and I tried to get on television. Nobody would hire me. And all these things happen in your life. Life is a series of decisions. And sometimes you don't know if you're making the right one or wrong, but every decision you make takes you along the path of where you're going in your life. So you know, as it. I think back about my career, probably the, the one person that has influenced me the most throughout my life and my career has been my wife. <laughs> If, if I would not have married her, I'd no telling what would have happened to me. I got out of service. I've been on the island for about a year. And I got out and went out and enrolled out of Southwestern State at Weatherford. And gosh, you know. I've been and so I was standing out in the middle of the street on a Saturday afternoon. And all the students were over there building floats for homecoming. And I was standing out there. And I see this little redhead walk out of the, house, out of the building. And she walks down the street. And she walks right between the two cars where I'm standing. And so, you know, if you're, you've been in the Navy and you've been on the island for a year, what do you do when a girl walks that close to you? I just reached over and kissed her, and she, boy, she hauled off and slapped me, and uh, that's how I met my future wife. But, gosh, you know, there's been so many things happened in, in my career, which has been long. It's now 37 years, which proves that miracles still happen. I have a job at the same place after 37 years. Good Lord Almighty, that's not possible. But I, it's, it, So I'm still here. But there's many, been many great things, and I think they're in different levels, so to speak. The fact that I've been able to keep a job and to feed my family, I, I appreciate that very much. You know, the Twister movie was an exciting time. It was a highlight in my career. You know, I got to be involved in the movie and got to meet all those people and got to go to Hollywood and do these things. And so I guess I, my highlight has just been my life, I guess.